Hey everyone, Eric here from Mafix. Back at it again. We got another. Ugh, we got MacBook Air board repair today, and it's in here obviously for repair. It's not powering on, so we really need to see what's going on. It's getting darker outside. I know it's a little bit dark, but it's, it's towards the end of the day. We're about to get out of here, but let's actually do a nice board repair before we go home. How about that? Okay, so let's actually check out the symptoms, see really what's going on. Usually my light is really good. My lighting is really good, but it's getting a little bit dark out So I need to have this artificial light. Yes, use that. But anyways, so we have it in here, right? And uh, you, you can see this is a little bit of an older one, but it's not really the problem Let's go ahead actually and connect our power connector here and see what we're gonna get. So if we plug it in Now what we always look for is this fan needs to spin, right? So we get a green light and now we have an orange light and the fan does not spin whatsoever and we're not getting heat from the processor. We're not getting really anything there. So really what, what is going on? Um, first, what we want to do is check. Let's get actually our voltmeter out here. I could probably show this too, right? Show you guys all this here. I'm going to get my voltmeter out. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and check to see our power rail is obviously doing an inspection too. But let's do this for fun anyway, right? So we're going to go ahead and check to see what's going in. And we want to go ahead and make sure that we find... RG3 hot power rail, but this one's a really famous model because uh, it's been out for a while. So anything that's been out for a while, it's famous. And in the tech world, that's always a good thing because famous means it's a better chance for repair all the time, right? So keep your eye on this here. You see this voltmeter? We're seeing it's 0.0. Uh, .0. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be checking this fuse here because this is your PV bus uh, G3 hot. Oh, it's not zoomed enough, is it? Well, that's really about it. But we're going to be checking this one. It's right above this big fat square coil here but we should be getting in something so i hope you guys can see it if you don't ugh, it's too bad just take my word for it okay so we need to check each side each side we should be looking for about 8.5 volts right that's what we should be looking for so i'm gonna go ahead and tap this side let's see what i get here okay i'm getting 8.5 volts if you see that go up i'll do it one more time whoops i'm holding the ground if i can hold the ground nope i cannot okay so we see we got 8.5 there now let's try the other side the other side we don't get anything so that usually means is what there is something going on with this rail right this fuse actually is blown there there's a problem with it now uh, the thing is if we replace it it's not going to be a good thing and actually let's go under microscope now because we don't need we could talk a little bit more with you guys having a better visual if I go over here so and it'll be good because we have to do a visual inspection anyway so let's go over here let's go under my microscope and we're going to be seeing here oh well, that's blurry okay so this is where we're looking at here and we got tweezers because my tweezers need to be out ah, okay ah, it's so blurry I have to calibrate that. I don't know. So this is blown actually here. Sometimes it can have a physical crack on it. Sometimes it can't. But usually if, if it's blown, we measure it that way. And it's blown because it's blown. Now, if we replace this and we don't do anything else, replacing this, um, we're going to get the same problem because the fuse is blown, right? So we can't just actually replace it and then hope it's going to work because that's not the case for it. What we want to do is we want to inspect the board to see if there's anything obvious. Um, we know this one actually does have a pretty popular area. And actually, it's kind of funny. Because it is a little bit popular and it's not that far from here. So we're over here and we're going to go travel to our friend's house over here. Right? And our friend actually does have a problem. Our friend has a big problem. And our friend is not happy. Our friend actually has an unhappy face. You see this here? See this? You see these eyebrows? This is an eyebrow. This is an eyebrow. And then this is a maybe not so happy friendly face right and this is because he has a crack there he doesn't want to have this crack here but there's a crack there and the crack means if you actually look on the side here that this is actually blown too i could pull up a little bit to show you guys it's bursting and it's bursting with joy bursting with joy to leave this board because it doesn't like the board anymore so what we need to do is replace this and we also have to replace the fuse here because he's unhappy and the tenant's unhappy and then we're going to go make sure that um this owner is going to have to leave right so <laughs> I don't know however you want to interpret that is what's going to happen. So we're going to make this a happy person by just kicking him out. So let's definitely go ahead and kick him out first. And then we'll go ahead and uh, see what we can do about our management team here. So maybe we need to clean house. Maybe that's what we need to do. But this guy needs to go. 
So what do we need to do? We just need to replace them. We can easily do that. It's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and do that right. Okay. There's your happy camper or unhappy camper. Oops. So this is your unhappy camper here. You see that? See he's bursted a little bit on the side there. I should put it down. Eh, we want to get him out. He he doesn't want to stay. He's just gonna be a problem. So uh, I don't want to flip it that way. Eh, eh, come on, flip. Uh, uh, there we go. See that? That's a problem. Was a problem. Now he's gone. So now I want to make sure I clean up my area before I sold it because you see all this nastiness. I don't want all that nastiness back. And we could just actually do a little nice cleaning. Make sure it's fine. Okay, now we want to get in our new tenant because our new tenant is going to treat us better. He's going to pay rent on time. So we're going to go ahead and put that back. See, we're going to go ahead and lure him in. We're going to go give him a nice little package there. Maybe give him like one or two months free rent just so he comes and stays. Just to show that he's going to be a good tenant, right? Yeah, you see, he wants to stay. He wants to stay. He likes going, coming here. Okay, so we already gave him an incentive to stay, but we want to lock him in all the way down, right? We want to make sure he's locked in. He's not going out. We're going to get him with that nice 18-month uh, lease instead of that no the normal 12-month lease. So we're going to make sure he actually stays in there because if he doesn't want to stay in there for that lease, we don't really want him here. We want people to be happy. We want people to stay. So there we go. Lock him in. Lock him down. He ain't going nowhere now. He's locked in. He's in it for it. Nice and pretty, man. He looks just like all the other tenants now. Now he's all good to go. All right. Now let's go deal with this guy over here. <sighs> you know, we've had a few talks with him before. I think it's time for him to go, too. He needs to go. So we're going to go give him what he wants, you know. Let's get him out of here. Just give him, give him that nice severance package. He was good to us for a while, but he needs to go. This is like a little crack there, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and plug it in. See what happens there. Plug that back. And you see we got a fan spin. So let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit better, obviously, and uh, looks to be good. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Typical problem, typical solution, right? Glad it did work out. Glad these boards are out here. Glad this information is out here. Glad we see these problems a lot and we're able to fix them. Thank you guys for... Letting me do what I love to do. This is great. I make a lot of videos on this channel. I make lots of software repairs, hardware repairs, tech talks, whatever you want to call it. Not TikToks, but tech talks. Actually, we do have a TikTok too, but yeah. So, hope you guys are watching. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. Got lots of MacBook repairs, all this other goody stuff. So, have a good day. I'm about to head out because this light is bothering me. Look at that. Oh, man, it's so bright. I don't like this. This is, this is like really bothering me. But, all right. Take care, guys. Bye.